if you read this example, in an industrial process, the diameter of the ball bearing is an important measure. The buyer set specifications for the diameter to be 3 plus minus. So this, these are our tolerance. Implication is that no part falling outside these specifications will be accepted. It is known that in the process, the diameter of the ball bearing has a normal distribution with mean 3 and standard deviation. On an average, how many manufactured ball bearings will be scrapped? So it means that whatever is the probability of getting x out of these limits this is lower limit this is upper limit if it goes outside whatever is the probability of getting outside will be nothing but a proportion that possibly give items out of That way, we can know that how much percentage of ball bearings will fall as an SCAR. So, to see this, the limits are this. So, basically, we have to find out the probability that it is 2.9 to 3.1. So, whatever goes out of this. So, if this is the probability of acceptance, and whatever goes outside, so this will be our 1 minus acceptable proportion. So this will be, if we know this probability, we can know the proportion. Uh, we can say that fraction of ball bearings produced, fraction of but 1 minus probability of ball bearings falling within limits. So probability of ball bearings falling within limits is nothing but which is x1 to x2 where x1 is 2.9 meters centimeters and x2 is 3.1 centimeters. If we see this now in this case the distribution that is given is of getting ball bearings within these limits is very high. That will be this program, this area under the curve. Now if we have to find out this area under the curve, that will be nothing but equal to the area under the curve for the limit 3.1. This area minus area under this curve of same distribution for this area, this is 2.9, which we can write as now what we are looking for is the fraction goes out of the limit. So the we are looking what is the probability that x is more than 2.9 no sorry x is so the values which we are looking for is 1 minus probability of x between 2.9 to 3.1 this is what we want out of the problem so this will be nothing but this area plus this area there are two ways either we calculate this and then we subtract from 1 we will get this full sum or we calculate this and this both so both ways we can solve the problem. Both ways it will be the same problem. Like here, it will be probability of x less than 2.9 plus probability of x more than 3.1. So we can find out either way it is possible. So now, if I take this example, it will be 1 minus probability of x 
less than 3.1, which is nothing but this portion, minus probability of x less than 2.9. That is nothing but this portion. This minus this will be this area. If we transform into transform into z distribution, what we call standard normal distribution, this will be equal to 1 minus probability of getting z less than 3.1 minus mu, which is 3, divided by variance that is 0.25. Minus probability of z less than 2.9 minus 3.0025. That will come out as 1 minus probability of z less than 0.1 upon 0.05. That is 2.0025. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Minus probability of z less than minus 2. Now if we see, if we go to tables of z distribution for z equal to 2.0. So if z equal to 2.0, there is no second digit value. So it will be same as this particular location. So 0 0.9772 for minus 2, it is 0 0.0028. 772 and this will be 0.0028. So 1 minus these two and this will give us 1 minus 0.97 and this will be 12 and 4, 6 minus 2 is 2. That will become 6, 5, about I can say 2.56% all variants may not satisfy the conditions. Now I can say that in this problem we are able to solve using normal distribution. But the first thing is normal distribution conditions which are the primary conditions whether the distribution is symmetrical about whether the mean mode medians are equal, whether uh, its probability distribution is approximately same as the function defines, then only we can apply normal distribution. But when we apply normal distribution, the first step is to transform into standard normal distribution or z distribution. That z distribution will be our helping hand, which is a helping hand because one table covers all the possibilities of z distribution and from that table we can pick up the values of cumulative probabilities and these cumulative probabilities are helpful to solve the problem where the application of normal distribution is required. So this was all about the basic procedures of normal distribution and their application into certain engineering problems. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next lecture, I will take up the help of normal distribution to solve the problems of binomial distribution where the number of trials are large. So if number of trials are tending to infinity and the mean uh, and the probability of occurrence of each uh, success is tending to zero as the case was for, in some of the cases we have used the poison approximation but in other cases we normal approximation. I'll show you how to solve for normal approximation over the binomial distribution. Till then, goodbye.